Hello, welcome back to Goldborn. Last time we did stuff. I think I don't know. I remember. I don't remember what we did last time. You always tell when I cut episodes because I always forget what I was doing in between episodes. Um, but I also realized I had kind of a uh, what do you call it? A uh, eureka moment, I guess. I had sort of a uh, sudden realization. Um, that I'm a moron. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I thought I should do this, but I, I set up the dumping stockpile underground. And I don't know why I did that, because there's zero reason that I shouldn't have just stuck it up here. <laughs> like, there's no reason that I shouldn't have just stuck it, like, up here somewhere. I, I honestly don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Because then I have to haul all the corpses underneath to dump them. Um... So, I guess first things first, I'll, uh, I'll fix that as soon as I remember. I mean, it fits right there. It's so perfectly. Um, Alright, that fits there. And I guess we need another, uh, lever. So, I guess we'll stick that, like, here. Uh, I think they're all... Yeah, they're all fine. Um, what else were we doing? I remember we were doing stuff with traps. I remember that. Oh yeah, we were building all the uh, masterwork weapons and stuff. Were we also melting metal objects? Yeah, we were. All right. Um, okay, so we're doing all that. Vaguely remember we were doing other things. Uh, we got food and drink. Looks like. Um. Did we train, or did I tell them to butcher the buzzards? No, okay. All right, we'll butcher the buzzards then. Um, watch, as I try to remember everything I was supposed to do in fast motion. Uh, what's the else? Oh yeah, we are building all those traps. Uh, mandates are all done. What else are we doing? Oh yeah, we were also building beds. Bedrooms. That was it. Right. Bedrooms, specifically we were building... Chests for all of them. That was another thing we were doing. All that stuff. <laughs> all this stuff that I can't remember. And that I continue to forget all the time. Because I'm, like, terrible at remembering shit. That's just... I have to remember all that shit. I've also been looking up stuff, so I guess while I'm... Now that I've remembered all the crap I was doing, I can actually take the time to, uh... Talk about other stuff. So... One thing that I was doing, uh... Yeah, that looks kind of odd. Let's build a wall here. I just realized that's... It's gonna destroy something. Is there a masterwork sitting there? No? Okay. So we're, we're fine. Anyway. Um, so in between episodes, while I was waiting to catch up a bit, because I'm pretty sure I'm recording this at the beginning of... Yeah, I'm recording this at the beginning of February, but you guys aren't gonna see this until, like, mid-February, probably. Um... Anyway, um, so there's that. Um, especially, I don't remember if I don't remember how whether or not I stuck that in there. Right? I don't remember if I equipped that to anything. I don't think I did. Okay, so I'm just stupid, and apparently that was already hooked up. I'm just dumb. Okay. Anyway, um, so let's hook this up to that bridge. And I guess we should probably just dump everything that's underneath here. Anyway, where was I getting at? Where was I going to get at? I was getting at something. Oh yeah, so in between episodes I was doing like my own test, uh, my own um, test sort of fortress, and I was trying to right, delete that, delete that, rid of that, 
We'll add the new dumping stockpile up here. Um, yeah, so I was just doing stuff in the test fortress. Uh, specifically, I was doing test fortresses uh, in different biomes. So, for example, I did a test fortress up in the uh, like frozen north to see how that would work out. Turns out that the constant snowing uh, really kills your FPS. So that's kind of an issue. I wanted to do one like a super cold biome, but uh, apparently all the constant snowing kills like your FPS all the time. Which is really annoying. Um, I also tried to do... Alright, so now I can just tell them to dump this stuff. Because we don't need it. I've also tried playing around with various other uh, ethics and whatnot. Like, so for example, I decided it'd be kind of funny if I, uh, you know, I played with. Um, like, what if every crime in the game was. Uh, like, like, what if every single crime was like, a personal matter, so that the only ones, you know, it, it came down to, if somebody was unhappy about something, they had to deal with it themselves. Um, the end result, unfortunately, of that was that everyone just, crimes just occur, and no one does anything about them. Um, that was what I discovered, is that crimes just happened, and no one gives a shit. They're just like, oh yeah, and crime happened. Alright, so let's hook all these cages up. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. Let's not use the really terrible ones. So what I think is going to end up happening is that they're all going to uh, kill each other. Apparently we have 11 in there. That's fine. Um, where did I put all those? Oh, there they are. Get rid of these. Um, dump all that. I also tried doing something where like everything was punishable by death. I figured that that would sort of create a situation where like you'd have tantrum spirals, but not really, it turns out. Uh, it's just sort of odd. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm fucking around with the, the justice system hasn't really produced the results that I expected. Um, I sort of expected the results to be a little more extreme, and turns out they weren't. So, I don't know. We'll figure... I don't know. I'll figure something else out, I suppose. Damn it. I really hope I didn't just... At least tell me I didn't disable those. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I just tell them to get rid of those? Because if so, that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Alright, let's tell them to put all these chests in here and make all my dwarves super happy. Again, I'm really unhappy that I decided to do this all at once and not as I got more dwarves. That's another thing I've started to do. Uh, I guess live and learn. I um, also started playing around with stockpiles. That was another thing I started doing in my test files to test out like different stockpile ideas. Um, I don't really understand how quantum stockpiles work. Like, I was looking at quantum stockpiles and like how to set them up and... I understand them, I guess, on theory, but I don't grasp how to make them happen. Uh, I don't know, I've always sort of... Uh, I don't know, I just think... I'd like to learn how to use them, but at the same time, I'd, I don't know. I 
I don't know. Okay, so we need even more chests now. Um... I forgot we had so much rock. Alright, anyway, um, so... Are we still making food and drink? I don't remember. I don't remember if I had food or drink to make. Um... Okay, we definitely do. So... We definitely have both food and drink, so... Honestly, we could probably just gather all the plants again. I haven't told them to do that recently. Honestly, I probably shouldn't. We have so much plant, but, uh... Yeah, just tell them to gather everything. Yeah, just tell them to gather everything. I'm sure it'll go fine. Alright, so... Cool. No, it was down... Everything's on this level, and it really shouldn't be. Uh... Also, we need more mechanisms, I just realized that. I should probably tell them to make more. Okay, go tell them to make food at the same time I'm telling them to do a million other jobs. This can't possibly go wrong. No, oh, whatever. Uh, so they're gonna do all that. Oh, and they're also smelting stuff. Perfect. Because nothing says good idea like giving a billion hauling jobs they can't do. What else are they doing? Oh yeah, I was also testing out animals and other things, like other wild animals and uh, things like that. Uh, testing out spawning animals too, because DF Hack has a spawn animals command and seeing what you could both train and use for food. I didn't realize how many animals exist that you can use for food somehow. Um, like, I didn't know that you could use orcas, uh, like there was orcas in the game and you can use them for food and catch them in cages. I didn't know that. It was a little weird. <laughs> it was a little weird to discover. Um, oh yeah, did I ever t tell my military to... Um, yeah, okay, so they should be drinking booze and not being all sad because they don't have alcohol. So hopefully they're actually going to do that. Um, those are still in tasks. They haven't run out of tasks yet. So yeah, I've just kind of been exploring stuff and sort of, uh, testing things out would be a good way to describe it. I'm trying to, like, look into new things, I want to say. Like, I don't know, I just kind of want to experiment with new ideas and see what happens in between, uh, in between things. I also, um, used a mod to make it so you can get more than one leather from animals, so... It determines how much leather you get based on the size of the animal, and not... You don't get only one leather from an elephant and one leather from a cat. You now get, you know, roughly around how much you should based on the size of the animal. So that's kind of nice. Um, I don't know, I guess there's really not much... Like, I wish you could say, like, in between episodes, I, I was thinking of, like, more stuff to do, and yet that isn't really what I... Like, most of the testing stuff I, do, I did weren't very, uh... Like, it wasn't very exciting, I guess, is the way to put it. Uh, there was a lot I was doing, but not a lot of it is really worth, like, talking about or showing. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of food. Which I don't really mind. I do mind more that we're falling behind on... being able to store the food, though. <laughs> That's a little problematic. Alright, um... Okay, we're also supposed to be... We're also supposed to be, uh... Yeah, we're also supposed to be doing more stuff so I have more, like, actual trade goods again, wasn't I? Yeah, all that other stuff I was supposed to be doing, yeah. Yeah, because I have all these... All these gems that I don't have any, uh, I haven't been using them on trade goods. Because I'm an idiot, apparently. I need to not do that. Here, dump all these really bad mechanisms. 
No, we made a rock anyway, so we don't need them. Uh, are all these empty? No. Uh, why? I think they just haven't hold them yet. That's fine. I should probably also check how much cloth I have. I haven't checked that recently. 999 cloth. Okay, we're fine. We'll probably make some more cloaks and stuff. I'll be happily clothed. That's always good. Um, oh yeah, they're all dumping that in there. At least I think they are. Um, we were supposed to make more mugs, wasn't I? Yeah, I think I was. They're not mugs. I was supposed to make um, goblets. That's the thing. That's those things. Those things that I was telling myself I was supposed to do. Um, did I ever set it? Okay, I did. Alright, so it's got to wait for those to be hooked up. Um, okay. I think... Think... Hmm. I'm trying to think of... Why did I build this room? Oh yeah, that was our archery range that I didn't use. Because archery is terrible. And it's a pain in the ass. Oh, it's winter now. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so, next plan. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Oh, God. Alright, so... I've created like a billion hauling jobs for all my dwarves, and I really shouldn't have. It was like the one thing I shouldn't have done. Um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I have all these jobs I need to do. Here, why don't I make food while I also create a billion hauling jobs? Not the wisest decision I've ever made. Um, I just realized, I still need to... Oh yeah, I already linked all the buildings to a trigger, that's fine. Oh good, they've all been linked up. Alright, now for the fun part. So... Lock the door, so no one can wander in there, and then pull the lever and let everybody out. <laughs> Just let all the animal- <laughs> let all of the uh, goblins and beak dogs out. Although I did leave the human there, so I'm pretty sure they're about to all kill the human. Yeah, that- that's the- <laughs> I think they all exploded. I think they all exploded. Uh, oh yeah, we were also testing what, what kinds of things were working. Uh, uh, oh yeah, so it turns out that steel weapons work apparently just as well as serrated weapons. Uh, huh. No, and apparently the beak dog will also attack the goblins. I didn't realize that. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure they're all dead now. Let's have a look. Well, that needs to go away, first of all. So dump all that. Dump that, dump that. Dump that. <laughs> Splattering of everything. Yeah, don't dump that. Man, heads and... Why is it automatically forbidden? That's what I want to know. I don't mind... I guess I don't mind dumping it, but... 
don't dump those. Uh, figure out what we can melt, then we'll melt that. Don't melt the cage. So, it looks like... Looks like the... All worked exactly as planned, in that everything, everything sort of exploded. Oh, it just means I have to reset the traps, uh, and the like. Right. Dump all that. I mean, no offense, I love the fact you brought me Goblinite, but, uh... I don't really need it. I don't really need any of this shit. Um, yeah, let's melt all the stuff we can melt. <laughs> oh good, it's first toe. That's not what we need. Um, uh, can't melt any of that. Dump all of that. Uh, I think that's everything. I expected a lot more gore. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's fine, I suppose. Um, I guess we'll have our dwarves clean it all up now and uh, take care of all that. I suppose I could keep the goblin stuff, but why? On the plus side, it did sort of... Uh, yeah, especially also deconstruct this. So the good news is that it worked. Uh, <laughs> certainly worked. Um, at least when it came to cleaning up all the corpses. I have to wonder if there's an easier way to do it, though. I don't know. I have to get rid of the corpses somehow. Or, I guess, all the captured prisoners. There's not really an easy way to do that, I guess. Oh, a vile force of darkness has arrived. Good. This time our military isn't wandering around. Cool, well we'll just uh, lock the doors, I guess. Yeah, quickly lock the door and don't go outside. There you go. Sorry dogs, you're outside. I guess that means we have more prisoners now. Alright, dump that crap. Wait, what are you butchering? <laughs> I guess you're butchering the beef dogs, but... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh good, look, there's lots of you. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome invaders. Thank you for killing my FPS. But I think I'm actually gonna, like, cut this episode and the next time we'll see them all get captured in cage traps, because that's probably what they're gonna do. Alright, see y'all later.